2016 has been a difficult year for us. The, we see decline in terms of spend per passenger. We see ch challenges for a variety of reasons, you know, including currencies, including the drop in the oil price, the general decline in spending within the Middle East region. And we think that we will probably finish the year maybe around 3% or 3.5% less than what we did last year, mainly due to the decline in the spend per passenger. The, the biggest challenge for us would be the overall macroeconomic environment, which we can't really control in terms of the strength of the dollar and the impact it has on all the emerging market currencies. What we can control is to improve our retail offer in terms of service to customers, in terms of being price competitive. Now, one of the things that, that we have been talking about a lot in the last couple of days is the need for uh, retail operators in the region, like Dubai Duty Free, to be competitive in terms of pricing with Europe and with other major markets, to be more competitive in terms of pricing, to improve our service, and to do the best we can in terms of the retail business, reduce our costs as much as we can, or be prudent in terms of costs. And that then positions ourselves for a better prospect when the macroeconomic climate changes. You know? so because these things are in cycles, and at some point in time, the cycle will turn. But we should be better positioned for that when that happens. And we should keep a keen eye on costs until that happens. The Al Maktoum International Airport is an exciting development for us. There are really two parts to it. In the first part, and the work that's being done now, is the expansion of the passenger terminal building from a building which has 5 million passengers capacity to 25 million passengers by the middle of 2018. When that expansion happens, our retail area will double and Al Muktum International Airport will be ready for Fly Dubai, which is the, the domestic low-cost carrier, uh, or the, the local low-cost carrier. And Fly Dubai currently has 8 million passengers, and it has ambitions to grow to 20 million passengers using the capacity at Al Muktum International Airport by 2020. So that's really the first part of the development. The second and the much bigger part of the development is the construction of phase two of Al Muktum International Airport, where we'll have two concourses, we'll have six nodes, we'll have capacity for 135 million passengers and approximately 80,000 square meters of retail area opening in 2023. We started planning in terms of the retail areas, the commercial layout way back in 2014 and we'll continue to work on that project. Internally, the project is called SP 2050 Strategic Plan 2050, and that project then positions us into a much bigger development in 2023 or 2024 when the phase two of the airport opens. And then eventually the ultimate capacity of the airport, as you probably know, is, is uh, 240 million, but that would be in 2035. The Dubai Duty Free strategy for the next five years is to do as well as possible in Dubai International Airport and in Al Maktoum International Airport during a period of rising passenger growth and constraints in terms of the airport capacity itself. As you all probably know, Dubai Airport is expecting 91 million passengers next year and 91 million would be getting close to the capacity of the airport. We are expanding the terminal building in Jabal Ali in the Al Maktoum International Airport and we'll be making some changes in the next couple of years in terms of positioning of airlines, taking advantage of the additional capacity in Al Maktoum Airport, giving Emirates more capacity at Dubai Airport, and we have a program called Dubai Airports Plus, which will try and increase the capacity beyond the design capacity of the buildings. So our position in a situation where the real estate in terms of the retail areas would be fairly settled, in the next year or so would be to maximize the opportunities which are there with the campus of about 38,000, 39,000 square meters and do the best we can in terms of our retail offer, in terms of increasing the spend per passenger and to get as much revenue as we can and get closer to this figure that we have of 3 billion, which is in today's context and within today's economic environment and in today's trends in terms of currency weakness, you know, the drop in the oil price and so on is a stretch target.